We are making the intention to be with our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To be with Him, to remember Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran Kareem, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Remember me, and I will remember you. Make zikr. Allah is saying, I will make zikr of you. There are different ways of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. According to the 41 <coughs> Sufi orders, the ways of tariqat, tasawuf. 40 Sufi orders, tariqat is coming from Hazrat Ali, Haramullah Waj the cousin, the son-in-law of the Holy Prophet <coughs> from him, 40 tariqats. One tariqat was given to Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. And the tariqat, the one tariqat, is the Naqshibin tariqat which at that time it is known as the Siddiqiyya, the way of the trustworthy ones. And that name changed when the secret of the Naqshbandi way that was given from the Prophet to Hazrat Ali Bakr. And it was passed down to the next branch, Hazrat Salman al Farisi. And it was known as the Salmaniya. It changed names because names at that time it was not so important as important as the reality as they say as the Ali Allah, the saints, the friends of Allah say Sufism it was a reality without a name and now it has become a name without a reality with these 41 Sufi orders those who are aspiring and those who are seeking, what are they seeking? They're seeking Allah. Prophet <laughs> will give the way. Tariqat means way. Sharia means way. He gives the way to approach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ihsan in the most beautiful way. Because Hazrat Jibrail alayhi salam, the Archangel Gabriel, he visits the Holy Prophet ﷺ from time to time, sometimes in human form. And in the Hadith of Jibril, he came and he asked the Prophet, tell me about your religion. The Prophet ﷺ divided the religion 
in what? Islam, Iman, and Ihsan. Islam, it is what you do, the Sharia. Iman is what you believe in. And Ihsan, it is to worship Allah as if you see Him. And if you don't see Him, to know that He sees you. And it is the most beautiful form of getting ourselves close to Allah Subhanahu wa So there are many ways of making the zikr. And every way of zikr, they say chanting, remembering of Allah, that is done in these 41 different main divisions of Tasawuf, of Sufism, and there may be hundreds of subdivisions. They all have their different ways. And everything can be traced back to a practice of either the Prophet ﷺ or his sahabis, his companions, or those ones who have done it and the Prophet ﷺ he approved of it. And that includes sitting and standing or jumping and even whirling. As everyone in the West knows and loves Hazrat Rumi, God of Allah so much. But they don't love too much the master of Rumi, which is the Holy Prophet. That Hazrat Rumi is saying, As long as I exist, I am the dust under the Mustafa's feet. And if anyone says that I am not from that, they are removed from me, and I am removed from them. Which Unfortunately, they call it their love for Tasawuf and Sufi. Then the Hazrat Rumi tried to take it out of the context of Islam and say Sufism, it is not Islam. The whirling dervishes. Was there a sunnah? Was there a precedent set? Either by the Prophet or by Sahabi Kiram, let me tell you something. Of course there is. Who was it started by? It was started by Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. <coughs> the day when this most powerful, wealthy individual in Mecca took all his wealth and he gave it in the way of Allah. He gave it to all those who needed it, to all the poor, and yet nothing. He even gave his clothes. Hazrat Abu Bakr gave everything. And yet nothing to wear. And what he wore was getting some palm fronds that he tied around his waist, like a skirt. And he came to the presence of the Prophet And the Prophet saw him and started smiling so widely that his teeth can be seen. And the Prophet says, Ya Allah, for your honor, the angels in paradise, they're all wearing the leaves of date trees right now. Because you have pleased Allah, and Allah is pleased with you. When Hazrat Abu Bakr heard that, he started turning around and around and around. And from that practice, the Nadlevi Tarikat took. There's only a secret to work with. Of course, you're not going to get inside that. The main point I'm trying to say is there are different ways of remembering Allah. The Qadiriyah, they have a different way of remembering Allah. It is accepted, it is in the Sunnah. To jump up and down it is accepted. Hazrat Jafar al Tayyar, he was so happy when the Prophet said that you are like this and I am like you. In one hadith, that he started jumping up and down on one leg around the Prophet, making a tawa. And few other people were there too, and they. But the way of Tasawuf was not open to the public. Because The general person, even during the time of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, they did not have the preparation that is needed to understand certain things that is meant from a spiritual plane. Which is why Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, although he is the closest companion of the Prophet ﷺ, and he followed him everywhere, 
If you look in the collection of the hadiths, he only has a handful of hadiths that he relates from the Prophet. Where is all the hundreds and thousands, if not millions? It's like your best friend. He's with you, he knows you. If anyone wants to know about you, they go to him and he can say, but he only left five things to say about you. Where is everything else? Everything else that he took, including the knowledge of Tasawuf, of Sufism, he took and he put it. And he says, because his knowledge must only be spread from heart to heart. Same thing with Hazrat Abu Hurairah, which he said, if this knowledge that the Prophet has given to me, if I were to speak it, he will cut off my neck. Who? The Sahabi Kira. Why? Because it deals with the spirit. And there are certain things about the spirit that when you are dealing with, if someone is not in that capacity, we are not looking down, we are not saying we are better or there was nothing. If they don't have that capacity, it's going to be different for them to understand. Different ways of making a zikr. And tonight, inshallah, Rahman, we are going to make the Hatun Khajagan, Hatun of the Khajagan Masters, of the Naqshim and the Order. But this zikr even, this is a zahir zikr. This is a loud zikr. Uh, the real zikr of the Naqshim and the Order, it is completely silent. It is a zikr khafi. The Shaykh will sit in his murids with a big tesbih in a circle and they will fall silent without any noise, without any speech, without any movement in darkness. The first zikr of the Hadn Hajaka, where was it held? We spoke a little bit today. When the Holy Prophet left Mecca to go to Medina, he stopped over with the second of the two in the cave. It was Hajar Abu Bakr Siddiq. He stopped in the cave of Tawf. And in that cave was the first Naqshbandi Zikr. And the Prophet was shown so many things. And he made Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq then to call the spirits of all the Naqshbandi Shaykhs and the Murids from the time of the Prophet until judgment day. And we were present. I say we, because if you're here, you were there. <coughs> Doesn't matter now, we're not making any differences between people. So, that was a silent zikr. Alhamdulillah, with the permission of our Sheikh, we're still continuing that in our Delga, in the Catskill Mountains. Inshallah, everyone is invited to go there. Don't say it is far, it's far for me too. You're welcome to come. We are a small community, growing. We have a masjid there. We have a dalga there. We're trying to live naturally. We're trying to live with the land. We're trying to live with the focus to be for the sake of Allah and His Prophet and not to run after this too. So, inshallah, we will at least uh, do the zikr, of the, uh, the loud zikr. And our intention is to remember Allah. Because Allah says, if you remember me, I will remember you. But understand, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making zikr of us. And he says in the hadith he could see. In the hadith could see. It is the words of Allah directly to the Prophet, a private conversation that is not in the Quran. It is not the Quran. It is the hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, that he has sent special angels to be sent to this world to look for any circle of zikr, circle of remembrance. And if the angels find a circle of remembrance, people coming together only for the sake of Allah and to remember him and to give praises to the Prophet, they will come and they will cover the circle with their wings of mercy. Another angel comes and he covers that jamal with their wings of mercy. Another angel, another angel. 
angel upon angel up to the throne of Allah. And for the sake of that circle, 70,000 wrong actions. There is a round that zikr circle is forbidden because of the rahmat that is called. It is not because of us, it is because of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if you remember me alone, I will remember you alone. If you remember me in a group, I will remember you in a much more exalted group. We are not people. We are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that with our weak service we are trying to remember Him. And to accept our worship, inshallah. <coughs> Nothing in creation forgets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything in creation makes us zikr in their own tongue, in their own language. Animate and inanimate. I was just telling a story. Today, maybe I'll tell you later, it's not really appropriate for this time, but everything, even stones and animals and the skies from the smallest galaxies to the smallest atoms to the biggest galaxies, they are remembering their Lord. But the creature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created to represent him, to be his Khalifa, man, Hazrat the son, the majority forget our Lord. Inshallah, may we remember. When we know the topic of Allah. It was good luck in the shape of the Lord. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ashhad wa la ilaha illallah. Wa ashhad wa anna. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, 
محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وسلم على بذكر الله تعالى إن كله بلا الله 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 الله
Yeah, so I- 
نصر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم يعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 اللهم صل على محمد وعلى وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم صل يا ربي وسلم على جميع الأنبياء المرسلين وآل كل نجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين وعلى أشراف العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات وعلى أكمل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات وعلى أشراف العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات صلوات الله تعالى وملائكته ومياه ورسوله وجميع القي محمد وعلى آل محمد عليه الصلاة والسلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته رضي الله تبارك وتعالى سلاتنا أصحاب رسول الله أجمعين وعلى تبين بإسجن الله ومتاكين وعني أولياء الصالحين شايخنا بتركات نكشمنيات العالية قدس الله زكي ومبارك الله تعالى مركات وفي يداتهم دائما والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة سبحان ربي العلي لنا الوحاب أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين جعل الله وإياكم من السجب شفاعة وارجو من الله رحمته ورأفته اللهم بحرمة هذا النبي الكريم وآله وأصحابه السالكين على منهاجه القوي اجعلنا من خير أمته واشترنا بذيل حرمته واحشنا عادا في زمرته واستعملا سنتنا في مدحه ونصرته وحنا مت تمسكنا بسنته وطاعته وامدنا اللهم على حبه وجماعته اللهم ادخل معه الجنة فلو من يدخلها وانزل معه في قصورها فلو ولا من ينزلها وارحمنا يوم يعيش على الخلائق فترحمها اللهم ارزقنا زيارته في كل سنة ولا تجعلنا من الغافلين عنك ولا عنه قدر سنة اللهم لا تعلم مجال ما تبت ذنوبا وسترت بيداء ما فلت عيوبا اللهم إنه كان معنا في السنة الظلمة الإخوة المنظرة في مثلها فلا تحمى توبة يسعة وفضلها رحمهم الله اللهم ارحمنا على سنة من أصحاب القبور ووفقنا على عمل صنح بقى سناه على ممر الدهور اللهم اجعل إلى عليك ذاكرين ولنعمائك شاكرين وليوم لقائك من الذاكرين وحنا بطاعتك مشغولين وذاته فيدنا فتوفنا غير مفتونين ولا مخذولين واختم لنا منك بخير أجمعين اللهم اكفنا شر الظالم اللهم اكفنا شر الظالمين اللهم اكفنا شر الظالمين واجعلنا من فدة هذه الدنيا سالمين اللهم اجعل هذا رسول الكريم لنا شفيعا وارزقنا به يوم القيامة مقاما رفيعا اللهم اسكنا من حوض نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم شربة هنية منية الموعد هبدا وحشنا تحت لوائه غدا اللهم افرنا به ولا بان لمهاتنا لمشايخنا لمعلمين ود الحكوك علينا ولمن أجه هذا الخير في هذه الساعة ولجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك أنت قريب مجيب الدعوات وقاضي الحاجات وقاضي الحاجات وقاضي الحاجات وافر الذنوب والخطيئات 
Ya Rabbi, all praise are due to you. May your peace and blessings be on the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and his family and his companions. Amen. Ya Rabbi, please us our Grand Sheikh and our Sheikh Saibu Saif Shalom Kim Akrusi Ya Bani Ya Rabbi. Amen. Praise them to higher and higher and higher stations. Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, give a long life and a healthy life to our strong life to Allah Kumar Fendi Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, we're asking you in this holy night, Ya Rabbi, to please bless us, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Please forgive us, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Accept our Tawbah, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to be counted as those ones that are making your remembrance, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to be counted as those ones that are thanking you, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to be counted as those ones that want to be in the love with the Holy Prophet, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Want to be servants of the Holy Prophet, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Want to be servants of the servants of the Holy Prophet, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Count us amongst those ones that you're happy with, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Count us amongst those ones that you're pleased with, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Count us amongst those ones that are living and breathing for you, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Count us amongst those ones that are working to be better ones to you, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, in this holy night, Ya Rabbi, we're asking you to Please help all those people in the world that are suffering, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Help those people that are under oppression, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Help those people that are under tyranny, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Help those people that are being victims of violence, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Help those people that are being the victims of bad regimes, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, send help to them, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Send a helper to them, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Send the divine helper to them, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, send Mahdi alayhi salam, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Send Mahdi alayhi salam, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Send Mahdi alayhi salam, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to be awake, to be with him, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Don't let us to fall on the wrong side, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Don't let us to be inside of the Jal, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to be in the side of Mahdi, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to live to see those times, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to live to see the time of peace and the time of paradise in this world, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Make us to be living to reach to that time, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, bless this Jamaat, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Bless the people who have gathered here, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Bless the people who are hosting here, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Bless everyone who's here with sincerity, Ya Rabbi. Amen. For the sake of this holy night, Ya Rabbi. For the sake of our Shem, Ya Rabbi. Stafullahi <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.